What's up, YouTube? I'm back again with another video. Uh, this time, uh, this is on uh, Angel Man Pure Malt. And this is a good cologne, good oil, uh, great longevity, great projection. Uh, I had this in a small 2 mil itemizer before in the um, 2 mil sample. 1 mil, whatever it was, a little small sample bottle like this right here. That's what it looked it like. And I had the Angel Man Pure Malt. And what it smells like basically is what I get is tobacco and mint. And that's about it. It's got like a lot of menthol. I get a little bit of the cherry and the tobacco. And that's basically it with these. Uh, all these Mugler, their Mugler scent smells similar in my opinion. Uh, like their projection longevity on all of them is uh, really strong and potent. And I'm pretty sure this uh, pure malt can be had around 50 to 75 dollars on eBay now. But uh, you know, I wear the oils because I think the oil are much better than the sprays in my opinion. So you know, that's what I rock now. So. Oh, everybody can't wear the oils though. But yeah, like I get what I get from this mainly is the the um the woodsiness. I get the, the mintness and I get a lot of the tobacco out of this also. And like I said, all these scents, even the pure coffee by Therry Mugler, the pure Havon by Therry Mugler, all of them got a bare resemblance. Even Angel Man. Just the original Angel Man. Uh, all of them smell similar light in my opinion, you know. And this one is a good one. It smells really good. Once again, it's Angel Man Pure Malt. If you can see that malt right there. Pure Malt. And, uh, you know, this um, is strong. And basically, this here is more like a, a fall winter scent. I would say I highly recommend it for fall and winter. You know, I wouldn't wear this in spring or summer because it'll get clawing. It'll come back and burn your eyes like it's doing right now. <laughs> so, you know, I highly recommend it for fall and winter time, you know, because this, this, this is a beast projection, beast longevity. So, you know, watch out for that. Now, I mean, like I said, mainly what I get from this is the woodsiness, the tobacco, and mint. See, I got this a hint of cherry. It's got like a hint of mango. That's what I get out of this. It's probably mostly it's just the mint. It's just a hint of cherry and mango. I could be wrong, but the, the dominant note in this, in my opinion, is the tobacco and the mint. And the pure van mainly was the cherry tobacco and the woodsiness, you know. That's what I get from those. But like I said, all of them got that that tobacco vibe going on, in my opinion. You can you get a lot of the tobacco. Um smells something similar to Tom Ford's too. Uh, tobacco Bene. Vanilla or whatever how you pronounce it. But um I also smell something similar to the Oodwood. I got that, uh, also got that in the oil to the oo I think I bought that to y'all before. And, uh, it's a great scent. You know, the projection. That's, and the longevity is this beast on that. And mainly what that is, is all wood. It's basically like, it smells more like a burning wood, you know. Like a burning wood. That does mainly like a wood where you burn and then the smoke generate from it. That's what that smells like, basically. But this here more like a. Um, this smell more like. It's kind of smell more like cut wood, like fresh cut wood. Then you sprinkle a little um, tobacco on it, and a little bit of menthol. Just let the aroma kind of come come up from it. That's what this smells more like cut wood. Somebody cut with a saw. And then they put tobacco in there. And then they sprinkle some 
a little bit of put up some menthol, spray a little menthol, or something like that on it. That's what this smells like more like to me. But uh, it smells good. Like I said, longevity and projections beats on this. And like I said, I wouldn't even recommend you wear this in the um, summer or spring months because this was would get a little bit too cloying, in my opinion. You know, but you know, folks could do what they want, but. If you want burning eyes and nose, no, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, so you know it's just up to y'all. I can't tell y'all what to do, but oh, <laughs> y'all and um, it's a good scent. And uh, you know, like I said, this is all these scents smell similar. You know, pure coffee, uh, the pure vine, and Pure malt and the other one I got the original Angel Man. Um, all of them you can smell that they bear resemblance to with a whole the whole thing come from the Mugler, their Mugler house, and you can tell that by the way all of them smell. And the one I hadn't smelled yet is B Man and um, I think it's Ice Man, uh, something like that. B Man, I know it's B Man. I think it's another one called. Iceman or Summer Man or something like this. Some of their Mugler scents. I ain't, I ain't, it's a couple of them I ain't smell. But I know one is B-Man. I ain't never smelled that before. So, you know, I'll probably get my nose on that sometime in the future. You know. But anyway, yeah. This has been the review of um, their Mugler Pure Malt Cologne Oil. Matter of fact, I had a spray also, I was saying. I had a spray sample. So, I'm just... Bringing a review on both. This is my sample was just like this right here, and um, I don't know where it is right now because I had two of them, and so I'm just gonna use the oil as the uh, sample. It's a pure malt cologne oil. So I got a lot of stuff and oils that I review, and some of them, you know, that I review, I had them in the colognes before in the past, like. Oh, I had Lucky You. I got a small. I had a big ball of that in the past. I had um, Ben Clee Midnight in Paris in the past. I don't have the ballers no more. But I got it in the oil. So, you know, it'd be a couple that I review I had before in the past that I ain't got now. Um, uh, I had some. What's the other one? Um, I had in the past. Had Black is Black. Is Black. By something, I don't know where the ball at now. Uh, I had about ten or fifteen that I ain't keep the ball or two, and I may get them back up in the oils. I just ain't got the cologne no more. Cause I don't wear colognes no more. I wear oils. So see, if I was wearing a lot of colognes, you know, like I used to, I get them back in the colognes. But most of them, my thing now is the oils, like this. So that's what I went to. Cheaper, better, lasts longer. Why not? <laughs> y'all so guys i hope y'all like this little review it's been the angel man pure malt from the third mugler house and don't forget to comment rate and subscribe to my channel and i'll see y'all on the next video peace guys and go pick up some of that angel man pure malt it's a good smell if you like that tobacco the mint the wizardness Go grab it up. Just don't wear it this time of year, though. Wear it in, in fall and winter. Peace out. Pure malt. Peace out.